After teaching the multitude, Jesus and his disciples set sail for the eastern shore of the Sea of Galilee. It was night, and the Savior rested comfortably near the stern, asleep on a pillow. In time, there arose a great storm of wind and waves and beat into the ship. Terrified, the disciples awakened him. Master, carest thou not that we perish? His answer was characteristically calm. Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? As he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He who had created the earth was again commanding the elements. In the wonderment, his disciples asked, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? We are living through turbulent times. A great storm of evil has come upon the earth. The winds of wickedness howl about us. The waves of war beat against our ship. But just as the Savior words brought peace to the apostles in the boat, they bring peace to us today. I am moved by the extent of the tribulation in the Savior's experience. Throughout his ministry, a storm of rumors, lies, persecutions followed him wherever he went. He suffered the sins of all mankind and bled from every poor. Whipped and crowned with thorns, he was forced to carry his cross to Golgotha. Nails were driven into his hands and feet. His body was raised up between common thieves. In his darkest hour, the light of peace and joy did not fade. It grew brighter. the power to calm the elements of earth has power to calm our souls to give us refuge from the storm. Peace be still. <laughs>